What did your travels to London, Madrid, and Paris teach you about how cities can better plan for the future? With all three of those cities, they grew over a long period of time, and they had to probably go through a wide variety of changes about how they're dealing with growth. But the one thing that they did was they certainly embraced density, and they certainly addressed the fact that, hey, if we're going to be able to move people around and give them the lifestyle that they want, they want to be able to shop, go to restaurants, they want to be able to go see shows, go see plays, um, we have to be able to embrace density to achieve that. And so one of the things I learned was that if we're going to start planning 40 and 50 years out and we're going to start looking more about how we plan cities as opposed to how we plan uh, suburban lifestyle, that means we have to make the strong argument for density and we have to start arguing for better transportation services and better land use changes so that people can enjoy that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And what do those transportation conversations look like? You know, believe it or not, in, in, in America today, even in cities that you wouldn't expect, you, you want to support more transit, for starters, more rail. So even in hotter climates, people are going to want to be connected by rail. People love rail. It's a great way to get around. It's easy to get around. And it's successful. It totally influences the corridors that they're on, as opposed to buses or highways. Rail is transformational. Rail changes the entire corridor that it runs through. But we also need to look at other forms of transportation. That includes bicycle and pedestrian transportation. People want to use those you know, modes to get around, so we have to be able to provide that kind of infrastructure. Uh, and of course, you know, we w are a country that was built on roads, so we also need to make some plan of how we're going to build roads and build highway systems and expand the capacity of roadways in a smarter way. And that means sometimes embracing what we do on lanes differently. You know, are we going to manage our lanes on thoroughfares? Or are we going to build our grid as we, you know, maybe expand a, a suburban uh, community? And uh, uh, are we going to build the grid and the access points to these thoroughfares a little bit smarter? We have to embrace it all and we have to talk seriously about it all as how it's going to look 40 years from now.